What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's going to be a quick video on how to do a sky replacement when taking a selfie shot like this. So sometimes when you go to do a sky replacement in Photoshop and you're illuminating your foreground like you see here, the separation between the sky and the foreground gets a little difficult for the software to recognize because there's just not enough contrast between the two. So I'll show you guys an example with that with this image. If I go to edit, sky replacement, and I already have the Milky Way shot that I'm going to replace it with. I'm just going to adjust the scale of it. You can see it's not doing a fantastic job around this radar tower. We can zoom in here. And I could play around with my shift edge and other adjustments here, but it's not going to be quite right. And to be honest, I don't want to paint in every little nook and cranny with this radar tower. It's pretty complex and it's going to take uh, quite a bit of time to try and do this manually. So there is a workaround when dealing with shots like this. So we're going to hit cancel. What I did is I kept my tripod in the same spot and took a long exposure without illuminating the foreground. So here's that long exposure shot and we're going to apply the sky replacement to this image instead. So go to edit sky replacement. And I just want to adjust my scale and get it into the position that I like. And now we can play around with fade edge and shift edge if we need to. And as you can see, it does a much better job separating the foreground out from the sky. And that's exactly what we want. So we're just going to leave it right there and hit OK. And I just want to stamp up my image. And now I'm going to bring the foreground shot up here to the top. And because I didn't move the tripod, everything's still in alignment. So this is going to be a really quick and easy fix. All you have to do is change the blend mode to lighten. And now we have our sky and the foreground shot that I want with me illuminating that uh, radar tower. Now sometimes other light areas like some stars might shine through. You can see in the sky there. And if that's the case, you could always just create a layer mask and then make sure you have black selected. Pick your brush size and your opacity at 100%. And I could just paint in the sky area wherever I need to. I could even tone down this light and kind of just you know play around with the image as much as I want. If I go too far with that, I could just switch this back to white and just paint in certain areas. So you have different options here um, as well to use your layer mask and kind of redirect the light however you would like. So, so this is just a really quick and easy tutorial for those that plan on taking shots like this where you're including yourself and using a light source to illuminate your foreground. Just make sure you also take an additional shot without any light source on that foreground to make life a lot easier when you go to blend your sky into that image. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Take care guys. Bye bye.